And guys, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim number 5 here with Zack. We left off um, Dragon's Reach. We picked up the quest from Farngar, and we f I fast traveled to Riverwood off screen because I didn't want to record multiple loading screens. So, here in Riverwood, I want to do a fast little miscellaneous quest that involves getting a follower early game. So, we have a choice between that guy over there, Savan, or Feindal, who's a wood elf. So, let's go get him. I believe he should be somewhere over here. Um. Uh, what is she doing in the water? Uh, let's go find out. Hello, Gerder. What are you doing? Um, that's creepy. Uh, you gotta you talk to me. If you're looking okay, I was work, here before. I wanna game. know why you're doing bum busters in the ocean. Okay, I'm out of here. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, so let's go see Feindal. Right, so they have a little love feud, uh, Feindal and Savan. They both want Camilla Valerius, um, so they send fake letters to her. I'll show you. Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose, for a Nord village. He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him, as if she would say yes. Yeah. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I don't need your jokes right now. You're right. But maybe you have a. Aww, I like my jokes. Maybe Camilla needs some help. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. I've never tried to read in the notes, but let's see if you can. By the way, this is the Sky UI interface with from the Sky UI team. This warning over here shows I did not install the Skyrim script extender. Uh, I should do that, but I have yet to do so because I don't really need to yet. Anyway, let's read this little letter. My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens in my fine blonde hair. Uh, <laughs> to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to m my house while I wander. Yours truly, Savan. I think she's gonna like that letter. I don't know though. Let's go find out. So we're uh, sprinting to the Riverwood Trader. This is where uh, Camilla Valerius is. So let's look. I'm just waiting for the loading screen, sorry. Alright, so. Here's Camilla Valerius. You're a strapping young man. Don't be a Oh stranger. god. Not interested. I have a letter from you. He does know how to make a girl blush. I mean. What's this? If that oaf thing you can tell Sven that he already has a mother. <sighs> I'm not speaking to Rejected. him. Rejected. Alright, so we tricked Sven. Uh, if we ever encounter him in the future, he's gonna say you're no good or you're trouble or something like that. I don't know. I do not really talk to him. I think he's dumb. Anyway, let's go get Feindal. Uh, he will give us Tell me, as soon as you've his allegiance. And, all of I appreciate your help. Please, and 25 gold, I guess. Gold I've saved up from all right, follow me. I need your help. So, alright. So you're following me. That is awesome. Alright, so here's our follower. You don't have to do this quest. Or you could, just to get the free gold in the beginning. It's literally no time, but... It's up to you. I like having a follower. And he snipes people for me, so you know. No harm done. Uh we're gonna we're gonna run across the bridge here, because as you can see NPCs act Why she's still there? My god. Okay, um as you can see they act weird in water. So let's not go in there. Um let's sprint. I really just want to get away from Gerda. She's really creeping me out with her, her sea bum busters. So let's walk over here. The further away we are from her, the better. Here's a mod shout out, uh, Doctor Zoidberg Mud Crabs. I will give credit to the actual author in the um, comments because I can't think of his name right off the bat. Anyway, here's the mud crab. Um, I'm gonna go closer just so you can hear the really good voice acting. Um, I, I, in my opinion, it's really good. Ow. <laughs> That's satisfying. I'm gonna do a quick save right now, because I call this a milestone. 
encountering the Dr. Zoidberg mud crab and uh, lying to people. I think, you know, I made the perfect character for that. Obviously, no racism intended for the Khajiit. Here's that dead wolf encountered earlier. Um, yeah, so he's just there. Let's see, let's sprint up to here. So, Bleak Falls Barrow is up this mountain trail. Um, which, in my opinion, has a very dramatic climate change, which we'll see here in a second. But, I guess going higher in mountains, that would make sense. That just starts snowing all of a sudden. Um, so, right. So, if you see over there, there's a, actually a, a little bandit camp. It's not like a camp, really. It's just a little post. Um, there are normally two bandits over there. From what I'm aware of, so we're gonna go check that out. I'm gonna sneak. Uh, oh god, they already see me. Is that Feindal who sees me? Either way, something sees me, and that is very unnerving. However, you're gonna get shot in the face. Yes, alright, good. I hit him. That was my last arrow. Alright, so he's gone. Uh, I'm gonna loot him real fast. I know it's very anticlimactic in mid battle. However, I tend to do that. If you want me to not do that, just leave in comments. You know, feedback is always useful. Oh god, there's three. Usually I only find two. Wait. Oh. Where's the third guy? She's running around in there. Oh, okay. Oh god. She's geared. She has armor and all that nonsense. Get Fandal. Oh, yay. I love these. I... I honestly have no idea what I just did there. I'm not talking about triggering the theme, but like how the kill cam actually killed her. That was that was very weird. Anyway, I'm gonna take his hunting bow and his iron arrows. Um, garnet, gold, all that's good. I'll take his armor just so he gets frostbite on his dead body. I think he deserves it. So the hunting bow is slightly stronger than your long bow, so I'm going to favorite that. It's only one more damage, but you know, the more damage the better. Uh, eventually I'll be getting real um, weapons, but for now I have to work with this. I'm gonna quick save again, just cause after killing swarms of bandits, I think, I think that's a job well done. Um, so let's make our way to Bleak Falls Barrow. So as you can see, dramatic climate change. Um, looks really nice up there, except for that little unrendered blur of land, but that'll be fixed when we get closer. Um, I don't want to go sneak-wise on this character, but sometimes you just have to, like areas like this. Well, you don't have to, but there's like bandit swarms. In fact, I won't do my best. My shield won't do all the blocking for me. Alright, come here, buddy. Oh god, two-handed weapon. Nope, denied. Okay, you're gone. Where's... Alright, so far so good. I'm gonna get you. Alright, Faint, I'll get the other person back there. I'll uh, take her out. Nice. Oh. That was fun. I just, I just like cut her throat with my shield. Oh my god, I broke her neck. Ew. I not know my own strength. I'm, I'm honestly honest on that. Uh, as assuming as that was, let's go find the other dead body. I want to loot him. Um, his legs clipping through his skirt. Uh, lovely. It's all beautiful. Um, I've. No idea where Feindall is? Oh, okay, I guess he took care of some guy. I'm not gonna go look for the body, though. Uh, I am gonna equip these new fur bracers that I got, because they are said to be better. Um, so yeah. Alright, so I think this is it. This is where we're entering Bleak Falls Barrel. Uh, before I enter, I'm gonna call this an episode. I'll see you guys next time, and I'm out.